Hi, this is Tina with Cafe Crop, and today we are going to be putting together a variety of cards, six of them. There's two of them in the picture, and we'll put up some other ones here so you can see them. Um, but we have a kit that we have. It's available. If you didn't get it and want to see it, it's available at cafecrop.com. Just go to our shop and uh, click on the kit and you will find it there. You can add it to your order and we'd be happy to get that shipped out while supplies last. So you can put together these fun cards. So we're gonna go ahead, there's the last of the cards. So there's six total. I'll show them each as we go along. But first I'm gonna show you what is in the kit and then from there we will um, go ahead and put them all together. I'll give you some different tips and tricks on different things to do as you're putting them together and hope that you'll have fun using these fun candy cards. Alrighty, so in your kit you get two sets of sticker embellishments. This is going to be our main embellishment that we are using and we're also going to be cutting up the packaging and using it on our cards so I'm going to show you how to do that. You'll get these stickers as well that you can use any of them. We won't use all of them, so you'll have plenty of leftovers. Um, there'll be a white piece, uh, white strip of paper as well. That is for backing these stickers because they're clear epoxy. So depending on what color you put them on, that can kind of show through and change the color. So I like to put them on a piece of white paper. You're gonna get pop dots, my favorite. And then we've got sequins, mine are already out, so I'm not gonna unbag these. You're gonna get yellow envelopes to go with your cards, your card bases. And then we are going to have four pieces of paper. Um, you'll have plenty of leftovers of most of these as well, so you can do other projects, make more cards with the rest of the embellishments, that type of thing. So I have got each of the cards prepped a bit so that you don't have to watch me cut all the paper. Uh, first thing though that we are going to do is we are going to put together or cut up the backing. So I've already taken it out of the plastic packaging. This is the sticker sheet. So we're going to use that. One tip is on any chipboard, cardboard type sticker, even though they are sticky on the back, I still glue them down doesn't matter what brand but over the last decade of using different stickers doesn't matter they still seem to not stick well whatever adhesive they put on the back so i always glue them down just to be sure they stay in place so i'm going to put that off to the side right now first thing we're going to do is actually cut up our backing piece because if you can see it's got all these fun little bones on it so cut that up there's a guide and I just wrote it out so that you can more easily see it here. But we're gonna use a number of the pieces um, and components on here just as fun elements. There's kind of a lighter um, bones on the back and there's an I Love Candy here that you could potentially use. But the first thing we're gonna do is take 5 eighths inch off of the top. And so I like using my trimmer like this so that I can get exactly what I need and in the size I need. So the I Love Candy is what we're going to be using here. So I'm going to just cut it. So this, if you see, it has a hole in it here. So I'm going to cut it just on the edge of the hole so that I have a flat edge. And we're going to save that piece. This will be discarded. Now, I already have a bowl. I like to use bowls. These are actually the bases to flower pots that I found at a flea market. Um, so I'm just going to put the pieces in there so that I don't lose them. Um, next, I'm going to take off just an eighth of an inch. I just want to get the words that say 12 pieces off. Then um, the next piece I need is one and a quarter. So this piece right here is going to have the stripe on it. That's going to be an element in our cards. The next piece I need is five and a half. So I'm going to cut that at five and a half. 
and I only need it to be four and a quarter this way. So we're gonna go ahead and do four and a quarter. We're gonna save both pieces though because we're gonna use this strip. And then this should be three and three ace already. That should be what we have left. And then I'm gonna cut that as well to four and a quarter. And then we have our pieces that we need to use on our cards. We'll have a few more pieces that I will show you some tricks on cutting, but right now we should be good for that. So this is in the directions, but I wanted to make sure you could see what I was doing right now. So the first card that we are going to put together, this is a, one of the easier ones. I try and start out with a little bit of an easier one when I do my classes, work up to the harder ones in the middle and then kind of do a, a cool down with an easier one. So first thing we're going to do on this one is take our four and a quarter by five and a half piece of the backing, the bone paper, and we're going to just attach it right to the front of our card. Put that down. And then we're going to do a little weaving here. So I have cut one eighth inch strips of the yellow and the orange. And you could always use either side, whichever you, whatever you like. I'm going to turn it sideways just to make it easier to work on. And in this case, I'm going to use glue rather than tape. If you had eighth inch um, tape, Like this you could easily put that down on it as well um, but I'll show you what I do for gluing now you can cut them five and a half the directions will have five and a half and four and a quarter I cut them longer so that I can have a little bit to work with and easily just trim off what I don't need so I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back of this I'm not gonna go all the way because I want to be able to do the weaving Part. So I'm only going up to about here and I'm leaving this part loose. And then I'm going to do this with a piece, another piece of yellow. And put that down. Now, depending on how you put down your first pieces, will dictate what you do with your next two pieces. So get that down. Now our orange pieces. So one of these orange pieces is going to go above the yellow that I already have down. And then this one is going to need to go, ah, let's see, I got all We have to make it look woven. So we need to do it the other way around. Put that yellow under, put this over. And then there we go. So you can see we have like this woven corner here. So make sure you've got under, over, under, over. So it looks woven. We are gonna put something on top of it so it kind of hides it and just gives the illusion. So if it isn't working for some reason, don't fret, just let it go. And we will cover it up For the most part so you don't need to worry too much about it and our last piece here this one is going to tuck in like that as you can see we have it woven under and over now i'll go back a little bit more adhesive behind those edges that I didn't adhere down so that they will stay put and for my adhesive I am using my fine line glue bottle and I love them I have several of them I use the scotch quick dry or tacky glue in my adhesive bottles um, that's what I like best for working with paper. So I'm 
just going to trim off on the back here. And see if I need a little bit more there. And trim these edges off. And there we go. Now we're we've got a majority of this card done. Next we are going to just embellish it with embellishments from our sticker sheet. Now again I'm going to actually put, even though these are sticky on the back, for whatever reason the adhesive on the back of chipboard I find never quite stays put. And sometimes even the layering of pieces together and it doesn't matter what company I've worked with they all seem to eventually kind of fall apart. So I like to glue them together so that I know my pieces are going to stay put and stay right where I want them. I can go ahead and add them on. And then I'm going to take the very littlest candy corn a little adhesive on that and pop it right over that corner so if you don't get your weaving perfect you can hide it there and our first card is done nice and and quick and easy on that one we'll get a little more complicated on some of the rest uh, our second card is our candy man and on this one we are going to use some of those clear embellishments I was talking to you about and this is where we put the white underneath so the color really shines through instead of the orange of the paper this one we have a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of orange I'm going to add that down onto our card base we're going to take the packaging piece that we cut that has the stripe on it See, I didn't get this quite straight here. Oh, we will worry about that later. I can go and edge it. Okay, so this is longer than I need it to be, so I will just trim it off once. I didn't trim it to four and a half, four and a quarter. We're gonna just put that on right up at the left hand edge and if you had read the directions and cut them at four and a quarter, you wouldn't have to trim this little piece off. Now on here, I am going to take the candy man, put him down here. I will go back and glue him in a moment. And then I'm going to take my sequins to just add some pizzazz up in the corner. So I'm just going to put little dots of glue. You can always lay them in place first before putting them down. And if you have a pickup stick for little embellishments that works well with the sequins as well. Mine, we just may have sequins floating around depending on what they stick to. We'll just pop those down, try and get them about evenly spaced on there and now what I want to do and I like to always recap this so that nothing gets stuck in my tip but it's pretty easy to clean if needed I'm going to take my sticker sheet here and I'm going to take my white piece of paper and what I did on these is there's these stickers here you can put the white behind them you can see them better that are like probably little eyeballs I used them as little dots and then I picked a couple of the sayings here there's sugar rush I want candy carving pumpkin Halloween there's a bunch of different things so I'm just picking two of them I didn't put any backing on these dots because they are pretty much a color already 
Um, but I am going to pick, I want candy and sugar rush. These I am actually going to place down on my white paper. Like that. Then just do a quick trim with my scissors. And now we can actually see the colors of the sticker a little bit better. So you really don't need much. Just put a little adhesive on the back of each of those. I want candy and sugar rush. And we will be done with card number two. Now, just so you know, I did pre-cut my paper so that you weren't watching me cut paper. So it will take a little bit longer because you'll need to cut your papers. Um, but if you cut them all ahead of time, then you will be able to just run through and put your cards together when you're ready. Our third card is our yum card. And for this one, we are taking our last and smallest piece of our bone paper and we're going to put it right in the center of our card front. Up and down like this. And then we cut two pieces of our dots, orange dot paper, and I put this on either side, but I did add some pop dots because I love using pop dots. And so I went ahead and added some of the foam squares. So I just do the ends, the middle. You can certainly do more if you like. Um, just depends on what you like to do with pop dots. You can get the full sheets if you like to have more under it or do lines. Um, but it really just depends on the project and on what I do. So now I'm going to line this up, put this here, the same on the other side. So now I have it framed. Then we have two pieces of paper and we're going to tear these. So I'm just going to go right down the middle and tear. You can make it jaggedy, but we're going to use both pieces. So you don't want one, one way and one like one real skinny and one real fat. We're not going to use the piece with the white edge on it yet. Put that aside. We're going to use that on a different card. So I'm going to tear the second one. I like tearing towards me. That just is easiest for me to do. So again, the piece with the white edge on it is going to go set to the side and then I'm going to keep the piece that just has the full color edge. This I'm also going to put pop dots on. Now what I like to do often with my pop dots is I cut them. So I can make them any size I need to. And put them on the back so it doesn't necessarily use a whole pop dot or if I need a thinner edge because something isn't as wide as the dot. You can get smaller squares as well but I just grabbed one sheet the backings off and remember if something isn't sticking it may be because the backing hasn't been pulled off I've done that many a time I put something down pick it up wonder why it's falling apart and I never took the backs off so it sticks together okay I'm gonna layer that on the edge there so now all we have left to do is add our yum and our candy heart and again I would actually glue these down with glue and I will go back and do that afterwards so you can put the heart straight you can usually this comes up you can put a little wonky whatever you like and there we go with card number three and moving right along we are halfway there We've got three cards left to do and we're halfway through our time so we should we're doing well. Our next card here is No Bones About It. Take our card base, and in this one, we have a piece of our orange and yellow polka dots that we're going to put 
on the front of the card. Cover it up. Now the two pieces that we tore earlier from the previous card, we're gonna take those and layer them. So the yellow one is gonna go down first and it's gonna go a little bit in from the edge, probably a, a line of lights or something. It depends on how thick this is because you do wanna cover it up and you don't want any of the dots showing. So you can kind of eyeball it and, or if you like to be precise and measure, feel free to do that. I tend to be more of a eyeballer than a measurer until I write directions and then I measure everything to make sure that your directions are accurate and will match the pictures. Because I know how frustrating that is when the pictures and the directions do not match. I've done many a kit from different places that are like that. So we layer that there. Now we've also cut a smaller piece of the yellow distressed and we're going to take our I Love Candy that we cut out of our packaging and pop it up on there. So that one I'm gonna grab two of my pop dots. It should fit two quite nicely. And pop that centered on the yellow. And then this is going to go right down here in the corner. Now I'm kind of lining it up just the way mine cut on this one. I'm lining it up along my little, they kind of look like lights to me, but my orange and yellow polka dots. And then we're gonna take our No Bones About It sticker. Again, go ahead and use your glue to glue it down. And sometimes these words, even as it bends, as you're putting it on, you need a little bit of glue added to them as well. And we are done with the card. <coughs> All righty. Yeah, moving right along with card number five. This one I thought was a fun one. I was trying to go for an effect to make it look like candy corn on the front of the card. So, this one does have a little bit of extra cutting that I wanted to show you, so I did not cut them yet. We need to cut two triangles to do our two tri triangles on the front of this card. But, we can't just cut a triangle in half because it's not gonna fit because we don't if we turned it around, and I'll show you with one, and we'll cut one to start with. Um, the way I cut them is I just line up my two corners along my where my cutter is going to go through. So you know you can see that edge on your cutter, and it, it'll all depend on what kind of cutter you have. But I just line it up and slice it. But as you see, I have this piece now, but this one would not work. I would have the opposite side, which I don't want. So I need to now, now that I've cut a piece at that angle, I need to cut this piece at the opposite angle. So I'm going to put it in the opposite direction, angled. The first one was angled this way. This one's angled the opposite way. Slice that. And now so you'll see that. So I did draw this out in the diagram, just so you see, you, you cannot cut them both like from top left to bottom right, the top right to bottom left. You have to do one of each to get the two pieces that we need. So we can discard or put these for use in something else, but those are the pieces we will need for this card. I'm gonna take our card base we're actually going to take our three pieces of paper that we cut. We're going to, and instead of trying to measure little pieces, which I know I could, and then trying to center it all, I'm just doing three stripes of paper of each of the colors right across. And I'm starting at the bottom with our white color. 
Then I'm adding the yellow and then the orange. I don't know that it would matter. That's just how I happen to do it. Now you will need to overlap depending on which direction you go. You will either need to overlap at the top or the bottom just because your pieces are a little bit wider, but that's just to make sure we have plenty of coverage. So you could easily do this with a larger card and making bigger rectangles and squares of paper or stripes of paper. Uh, first thing we're going to do now is add our triangles on to each side. So do all the adhesive at once. I'll line this up at the bottom. And this one I am lining up at the bottom because we're going to put a stripe across the top from our bone pieces. So now that's there. We're going to add this last piece of um, bones on right across the top. Now one side's going to be shiny, one side's going to be dull. Pick whichever side you want to show and make sure your adhesive goes on the opposite side. So if you want the shiny side to show, make sure you're using, you're putting your adhesive on the dull side or vice versa. So now that's all together we're going to go ahead and put some sequins along the top here. And I alternated. You should have enough that you can you know, pick and choose what you want to do or which ones you want to alternate. So since I'm eyeballing it, I'm going to put a dot in the middle. That's going to be my middle one. And then work out from there three. I'm doing an odd number just because odd numbers tend to look more balanced than even. And depending on your glue, you should have a little bit of wiggle room to get them adjusted to where you want them. And gold. And do, do, do. Then I need gold, black, and a gold. And black. I think I might have two golds there, but one will fall off if I do. All right, we've got our line across the top. Again, adjust them as needed once you see where they're all sitting. And one last funny bone sticker to put on here. And again, I'll go back and glue these when we're done. And now we have that card put together. And we are at one card left to finish. This one I is probably a little bit trickier should have done it in the middle but we're doing it at the end so hopefully you're all warmed up and ready to go this one's going to have diagonal stripes and it's going to um, have a little frame around it so I'm going to show you how I do my frame my little trick to mitering corners without it being um, difficult to miter so we'll start with our car base now we're going to have a little bit of angle cutting on this one as well because we are just doing opposite corners and not like left and right corners, but doing opposite corners, top and bottom, we can just cut these squares that I've already cut at an angle. Sorry, the sunlight is coming, suddenly coming through now. So there's a little bit of lines. I'll try and avoid them while I'm working. So. We only need to use one of our corners, but we're going to line them up like this. So that, maybe if I set that over there, it's a little easier to see. So we're going to put these down first. And 
this. I am doing all three sides because it's a little. Okay, this is going to go in the top right corner. This one's going to go in the bottom left corner. So now we have two of our colors, and our third color, our yellow, that's going to go in the middle. This is a seven inch piece of paper because we need it to cover corner to corner. If you're not sure that's gonna work for you, you can always make it a little bit longer. You've got plenty of paper. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on it. We're gonna put it down, make sure we're covering corner to corner, and then we will trim it off. So, so it's not gonna be even per se. It's, it's gonna get from corner to corner and that's all you need. Then we'll just turn it over and trim off the excess. So don't worry about necessarily centering the corners on the edge of the paper or anything like that. As long as you've got it covered from corner to corner, you should be good. So now we have our stripes just like we would with our candy corn. And this is where we get to do our fun little border. Now. When I cut this off of the piece of paper, let me show you what I did here. I wanted to make sure I got a full set of polka dots. So I actually took the edge of the paper, it, it comes out to be about a quarter of an inch, and I cut it, I lined up, made sure on my cutter that I was going to get one strip of dots and cut it. Now, if I were when I go to do the second strip here, I don't have a full dot here. You can see it's a little bit off at the edge. So I'm actually going to just trim that piece off. I can save it for something or you can just throw it away if you don't want to you don't worry about saving straps, scraps. And then I can cut the second one. Very easy. Now you can go ahead and cut these down to four and a quarter and five and a half. You would need two of each. Um, or you can put them down. I will show you how I'm going to put them down and then um, trim them. So I'm going to put them down and then trim them just to show you what I'm doing. The first piece I'm going to put down is the five and a half. And you can put them down with pop dots or you can put them down um, just flat. I like to give that 3D framed look, so I'm going to actually, in this case, I'm going to put my pop dots right along my edges here. So it's a little bit easier than sometimes getting it on the skinny strip of paper. Now this I'm doing, I am doing five pieces, doing left, right, center, and then in between both of those, just to make sure my frame actually stays looking like a frame and doesn't sag. So now, go ahead and take off all the little pieces. Put down my frame piece. All right. A little bit thick on that one, so I'll just move that down a bit. All right. And now this, I can just trim that off. And you're probably saying, wait, there's no corners mitered. How am I going to miter the corners and make it look like a frame? We're doing it my, my easy way so that you don't have to worry about whether the angles actually match up. They will always match up because there's always something underneath them. I'll trim that off so you should get be able to get easily get the two pieces out of one stripe and then we'll have plenty for the other. Now for this one what we're going to do is we're going to put our 
pop dots right up at the edge of the frame here. So if you can see that we're gonna do it at the edge of the frame there, I'll put it there and put some along here. of them you can cut it in half or you can cut it in thirds if you made your strips really skinny you might want to cut them in thirds or if you have other skinnier pop dot material but that's this is how I use mine so I can get a lot more out of it and I'm going to go ahead and put them down on the other side then all we have left to do is add our border strip and do our faux mitered corners. This there somehow ended up with like half a piece. That'll work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down. We'll take out off the backing. And if you like pop dots like I do, you end up with little pieces of backing sticking to everything and all over the place. All right, so now I am going to take this piece. I am going to line it up or overlap depending on how your dots fall. You want to at least line it up with your corners. So I've lined it up. I'm going to trim it off. Don't worry, we'll still be able to do our folk mitered corners. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. So now we've got just a regular frame where you can see it just comes up straight. What we're going to do now, because this is not, this top piece, the last one we put on, is not glued down. All I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to line up from my corner, outside corner, to my inside corner. You see that? And snip. And voila, I have a mitered edge. And I don't have to worry about whether my angles between two pieces actually match up or not. Because they will always match because there's paper on going all the way underneath. I do not have to worry about lining it up. So very quickly, I have four what looks like mitered corners that I did not did not take me forever to do. And we just have a few more embellishments to put on here. I'm going to pop this on here. Our I Love Candy. We've got our last two pieces there. And then we're going to do a few more little bling. I like shiny things and things that and blingy things so I like the sequins on there just to add a little extra pizzazz three down here and again you can decide which order you want them in if you want to use all yellow or all the gold or all the black alternate them you can personalize it. These are your cards, so if you want to do something different, use your embellishments in a different way, feel free to do that. It is You need to make it your own. That's the important thing, is you make it fit your style, and you make it your own. So that there we have it. There are all of our cards. So let's just grab them all out here. Got those two. This one, this one, here, and there's our last one. There we go. So there are the six cards that we just completed, and just on time. So again, if you need the card kit, if you didn't grab it already, you can go ahead and get it on our website, and that is cafecrop.com. And we'd be happy to get that sent out to you so you can make these cards for yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.